Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In one of our previous videos, we discussed different types of gearboxes that are used to vary torque. But have you ever heard of a gear setup that is capable of shifting the vehicle from a two-wheel drive to a four-wheel drive? If not, you'll find this video very informative. This video explains a part of the four-wheel drive system called the transfer case. We'll be discussing what a transfer case is, its need, construction, and working. A transfer case or transfer box is a device that consists of a set of gears. They are used in four-wheel drive vehicles for transmitting the power from the engine to both the front and rear axles. But why is it necessary to have a transfer drive? We all know that the motion from the engine is transmitted via a single shaft to the axle of the drive wheels. This will not be a problem in case of two-wheel drives. But in case of four-wheel drives, we need two different shafts to transmit motion to both the front and rear axles. For this, we need a transfer case. In addition to this, a transfer case can also be used for obtaining low and high torque transmission. For understanding the working of the transfer case better, one should know the way how it is constructed. The output shaft from the gearbox acts as the input shaft of the transfer case. Then, there is a lay shaft and an output shaft in the setup. The input shaft consists of a helical gear that constantly meshes with a gear in the lay shaft. Similarly, there is another gear in the lay shaft which can mesh with the gear in the output shaft. The door clutch over here can slide over the output shaft which is located between the input and output gears. The output shaft is connected directly to the rear differential and it has a fixed gear that rotates with the shaft and a sleeve mounted on the bushing. The sleeve of the output shaft is connected to another shaft called the auxiliary output shaft by means of a belt or a chain. This auxiliary shaft is connected to the front differential. The sleeve can be connected to the fixed gear by using a dog clutch which slides over it. To engage the dog clutches, there is a shifting mechanism that can be operated manually or by electronic systems. Now let's see how the system works. Assume that both dog clutches are not engaged. Now when the input shaft rotates, it drives the output shaft. Here, the motion is transmitted from the input gear to the output gear through the lay shaft gears, thus resulting in speed reduction. This condition will not drive the front axle and the vehicle acts as two-wheel drive and transmits high torque. But when the dog clutch engages with the input gear, the input and output shaft will rotate at the same speed, resulting in low torque transmission. However, the vehicle still functions as a two-wheel drive. Now, if the dog clutch in the sleeve engages with the fixed gear of the output shaft, the sleeve rotates, which in turn makes the belt drive the auxiliary output shaft. Thus, the drive gets transmitted to the front wheels as well. This arrangement transmits a low torque. To transmit high torque during four-wheel drive condition, both the dog clutches have to be engaged with their respective gears. This is how a transfer case works. The transfer case transmits an equal amount of torque to the front and rear wheels, making them rotate at the same speed. They can also be completely locked in all-wheel drive vehicles, where the vehicle functions only as four-wheel drive. 